quite focus driven here. <coughs> Gonna try and finish off uh, Bertram Fiddle this morning. Uh, let me just get loaded up again and see where we were. Exquisite. Hope everybody's well today. Let me just get rid of this program here. Don't need it anymore. It doesn't want to close down. Right, continue. The freak show. It seems dreadfully quiet. That's very loud, isn't it? Um, let me just adjust my volume here. See if that's any better. Going for lunch. Marvo's incredibly manipulative mesmerism tent, where he performs all of his hypnotisms. He's not in. Right, that should be it. Set, hopefully. Just try to get my headset so I can get sound in both. There, right. <laughs> Um, can, we can go in there. We've got free hugs. No, oh. thank you. I'd rather not. I don't do hugs. Why doesn't he do hugs? What's in here? <laughs> Looks like a lady. Is it the bearded lady? The Nightingale of Dreary Lane. Oh, I'm a very big fan. Bertram Fiddle, at your service. Bertram Fiddle. That name sounds familiar. I think Algernon may have mentioned you. Do you, perchance, work at the soap factory? I do, uh, but it is merely a temporary position. I am more of a classically trained adventurer. Ah, yes, I recall now. He told me how awful you were at your job, <laughs> and he was only keeping you in employment because he knew you needed the money. He is a very sweet and kind man. Perhaps too kind. Do you know Mr. Dalsworth well, then? We were going to run away and be together forever. But Marvo found out and locked me up because he wants to get his tiny, filthy paws on the deeds to the soap factory. I am little more than a singing canary to him. Take this locket. Maybe it will help somehow. Oh, okay. Uh, what's this? Don't touch my juggling thing. Marbo says if I plug this, I could be famous. He's going to give me the freak show once his evil plan has worked. I shan't let you touch my juggling ring. Sorry. Jeez. Headphones. Why won't you let us touch it? I shan't let you touch my juggling ring. Sorry. This is hopeless. Hopeless. <laughs> Marvel said, one day I will run a freak show. He's a very nice cat. He often gives me current puns. Oh, shush your twunk, you silly man. He is too witless to remember all the bad things Marvo has done to him. Do you like current puns? I do so love a good current pun. I'm afraid I've forgotten what we were talking about. That's the elephant man, and he likes current buns, so we need to find a current bun, don't we? Um, where would, where would a current bun be? Oh, hoopla! Did I ever mention I was a hoop-throwing champion, Gavin? The shame it's closed. I really am rather good. I excelled at hoopla when I was younger. They said I was an incomparable tosser. <laughs> Alright, let's head back this way. It's 
So we need to get something to pull this tooth out, don't we? What was in here again? Oh, the 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 um, alchemy table. Nothing else in here. A book on hypnoptimization. How to mass mesmerize everyone by Marvo the Hypno Cat. Mm. Current buns. Ooh, a current bun. <gasps> ah. No. How did we make these potions? Were they written down on this paper? <clears throat> yeah. Did I write that down anywhere? I did. But I only wrote the first one down. Oh, here's my other note. Right, the bulldog needing a lemon, and the ape, we need to do its tooth. Right. So we've got... We can't do that because we need this magnesium, and I think the photographer has magnesium, doesn't he, for his camera, for the flash. <clears throat> so, I'm thinking, maybe we should try and make these... See how we get on. Let's try the first one. Cold green, cold red. So how do we do that? <coughs> how do we do that? Where are they getting mixed into? That's the gas to power these. So if we leave that off. Okay, so there's green, and there's red. So we now have... How do we... Grabulation elixir, okay. So what's the next one? So that's that one. Cold and two hot greens. Cold yellow, two hot greens. Cold yellow. Two of them. Right, turn the gas off. We've got. I'm gonna have to write this down. <laughs> I'll never remember all that. I suppose I could use my. Um, can I load up the notepad? Um, we need cold yellow, hot green. Red, hot yellow, and then we need a hot yellow. Oops. Twice. Cold red and cold green. Right, so cold yellow, so that's that one. So we need a hot green. We need a hot red, and then we need a hot yellow. And for the last one, we need two hot yellows, a cold red, and a cold green. Right, so we have the four potions. Right, so, and we have the current ban and we have this locket looks very expensive we need to find a lemon somewhere don't we what was down here Come on, Bertram, run. Mm, 
what was here? That's where the the dog is. The bulldog that needs the lemon. So where are we going to find a lemon? Was there anything in the shop? <gasps> the lemon tree. Don't touch my lemons! Those teeny little lemons ain't good for nothing! But when they grow, they will be most impressive. Right, so they need to get bigger. What was these potions again? Make things grow. Oh my! Look at the size of them now! They're massive! Thank you for your lemon aid! Take one, you know you want to. Lemonade. Okay, we have a lemon. Did we do everything in here? A book on learning martial arts immediately. Ha! Ah, I know Kung Fu. Okay. So we now know how to do Kung Fu. Just like that. How are we going to get... Where's this dog? Was it... The dog was down here, wasn't it? The dog likes lemon. He's got a bowl. Is he going to eat the lemon? As it is? Dogs don't eat lemons. But he wanted lemon. It does look thirsty. Its bowl is empty. So we need to get lemon juice, maybe. Yeah? Maybe lemon juice. Get rid of this notepad, I don't need it anymore, do I? Um, we've got a ringer, or a wrangler. A mangle for squeezing things out. Aha. Uh -huh. But how do I get the juice from there into there? Is it just going to work? Am I going to get juice? Is that going to work? Ah! Sherlock Snitcher, shh, keep it down. I don't want everyone to know. I shan't tell. If you provide me with the information I seek, I'm looking for the dastardly villain known as Jeff the Murderer. Do you know of his wherever abouts? I happen to know Jeff spends his evenings playing cards in the victim's end. You won't find a more wretched pub full of villainy and scum. It's through there and under the bridge. But don't mention my name. Or I'm done for. Never fear. Your secret is safe with me, Mr. Snitcher. Okay, so we can go this way now. Okay. Oh, okay. This is where that is. Right. So we just come full circle around the back. Uh, we got anything? Fishy underpassage. There is something hiding in the murk. In the murk. Hold on there, young'un. You don't just take a fisherman's boat. Rose of the sea. If you want a row, a gift you must bestow. A gift? Like what? I know. 
Something appropriate. Tusk, Tusk. You can't just get in a man's boat. Hey, Bluestone. How are you today? He wants a tusk before he said tusk, tusk. So that would be the ape's tusk, wouldn't it? So we need to get the... I'm just going to use my little notepad I set up here. <laughs> I can get rid of all that. Right. So we need a tusk from the ape for the merc guy. Upgrade your moustache. Don't wait for Mother Nature. Immediate, immediate whiskery admir admiration. He has a face like a furtive cod. Good day, <laughs> sailor. How goes it? Oh, it's a woeful time for us fishy folk. So I just sit here, whittling away on my whale bone. Ooh, how nice. It was, but I've been and whittled it all. Now I's a fear to go and get any more. A stout fellow like you? Afraid of what? There's something out there, under the water, watching and waiting at me. Really? The Thames isn't known for its river monsters. I've seen it with my own two eyes. There's no way I'm getting back in me boat, no matter how badly I want to do my scrimshawing. I'm just going to sit here and not wetland till it's safe again. So what do you think about making for yourself? Yeah, I did. I did comment on them. Um, I really like the female one. I love the hair on her. But they're all really good. Barely any lasting eye burn. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I thought you did a really good job with them. I like them. I like the, the the wavy curls on their on the female's hair, and the color was really good. I like the color of the hair. So we need a tusk for him, or well, we can keep going, can we? And he's scared of the water. Okay. That'll take some of the pressure off of yourself then. That's good. Right, we have a crane of some sort. A mechanical gravification device. Okay, so we've got a windy up thing. I meant to actually put my badges on, I forgot. Yeah, I mean, everything's very time consuming, so. Um, it does, it is nice to get help. Got my dwarf fortress one as well. Oh, it's upside down. Right, so we've got that. We've got a bottle in the water. Fancy that! A message in a bottle! Oh, it's too far to reach. Sting will get it for you. He likes messages and balls. What's this? I say, what are you doing, young urchin? I'm on the hunt for trinkets, mister. You can find all manner of useful things in the mud. Anything that glitters is mine, mister. Ooh. We have a trinket. 
sir. The soap factory. Oh, yes. Soap it is. I can spy Mr. Dullsworth's secret entrance from here. Hmm, this must be where he disappears to. Can I... Throw that on there. And now to catch a mudlark. I saw it first. Find his keepers, mister. So what do we do? I probably don't have anything. Oh, wait. The catch him with. I can't use this kind of... Come on, run. Right then, Gavin. How does this thing work? Just feed the knobs until you grab something, sir. Oh, blimey! Whoa! Watch what you're grabbing! Maybe he can grab that now? No, no where do I put him? To whomever may find this letter. Help! Discovered a lost world in the middle of the earth. Being held captive by a race of telepathic flying reptiles. McClunk has gone mad. If you read this, send assistance. Yours extremely anxiously, Dr. Peneva Fretling. Oh my goodness! What an exquisite bottle! Okay, so we've got a bottle out of that. Let's go try the current bun on the elephant man. We'll get the hoop off of him. And then we'll come back here. Oh, still got a sore back. It took many painkillers before I started my stream. <laughs> But they haven't kicked in yet. We need his boat, don't we? Um, up this way. I want to go to the fair. How did we get to the fun fair? Was it this way? Yeah, right. I want in here to see the elephant man. We're going to give him the current bun. Here you go, sir. A lovely currenty bun. Oh, my favourite. How did you know? Because that's all you said. You were going on and on and on about current buns the last time we were here. <laughs> Can I get your hoop now? I'm sure he won't miss this now. Right, so what do we do with that then? What do we do with the hoop? Still got to try and get this tooth out. So how are we going to get, can we, can we reel it in? That is really not going to work on its own, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, so we have to combine that with something then. Can we put the bottle, can we tie the bottle no, to it? that won't mix. And put the hoop on it. Oh, maybe we could put that on there then. Can we pull this now? Oh, you're too weak for that, aren't you? You're gonna have to get your man yes. servant. No, oh, look at him now. Say bananas. Oh, excellent. This will no doubt make wonderful news. Giant monkey, very happy to be ridiculed by strangers, etc. Well, back to the news quarters for me. <laughs> this is darned. 
it walked off. Right, so we can get the, the horn, or the tooth, sorry, to give to the guy under the bridge. In his hurry to scurry back to the evening burble, he has left some powder. This may prove particularly useful. I'll pick it up, just in case. The puns on this game. <laughs> They're worse than mine. Right, let's go make this other potion up. Mod Scientist of the Year. Did you see the poster on the wall? <laughs> I just noticed that. Mod Scientist of the Year, 1881. Right, we need to make this. Let me write this down. Mod Catalyst. Uh, cold red, hot red, cold yellow, cold yellow, and hot green. Right, so we need to put that in there. That won't mix. Eh? That's magnesium. Spent magnesium. Oh. So how do we... How do you look at things? Grabulation. Cranius shrinking. Grabulation. What's that do? Do we get the magnesium powder to work then? Have I not written any notes or anything that I found there? On mag. On How do we get the magnesium to work? There's nothing else here, is there? Magnesium catalyst. the transmogrifying solution for here as our dialect sitting there. What sort of dialect were they again? With the big heads on them. They they were fairly new, weren't they, in Doctor Who? What sort of dialect was that? Types of Dalek. I found a picture. They were... Gee, so many different dialects. <gasps> but they don't have that one, but there was a picture. Not a picture on this page though. Why they not got that one? Hmm. Dialect with a big round head. There it goes, there's one. 
So what type of Dalek is that? Dalek variants, here we go. He's the Dalek Emperor with that big round head. Mm. Um, I don't know how to get and we can't just make the vest. Okay, oh, hold on. Can I not put them? Um... Oh, I can just put that in there, look. Gee whiz. I thought we had to put it in there. <laughs> uh, so we need cold red. Hot red, cold yellow, cold yellow, and hot green. There we go. That's it. Right, we finally made it. Right, let's go back downstairs. That was silly trying to put it in there. <laughs> so we'll go down here. We give the red potion to you. Ooh, it burns. I'm changing. I'm changing. Yes, yes, I, uh, thank you for your help. I don't know what came over me. Dr. Jekyll, at your service. I am deeply indebted to you. Dr. Jekyll, at your service. I am deeply indebted to you. Recently, the side effects to my little, uh, experiments have been getting worse. Sometimes I can barely control myself, and I have such important work to do. I am on the verge of a medical breakthrough. Oh, that's nice. Nice? I'll say, soon I will be able to bring the dead back to life. Imagine that. Corpses living and walking amongst us. Um, are you sure that's a wise idea? Of course, I will be proclaimed a genius. <laughs> no one will dare say I am mad then. <laughs> oh, foot. Um... Poor fellow, or fellows, or bits of fellows. One of my little experimentifications. Uh, I am yet to find a suitable brain, though. I'm confident a superior specimen will be sent to me soon. Hmm, brain. One of these potions is to do with brains. Cranius shrink. So we need to find a big head, don't we? And then shrink it down to fit it in. Can we go out this way? Do we want to go out that way? What's this? Oh, that. Uh, that's where I get my medical specimens from. It leads to the victim's end. A jolly little drinking establishment. It's where I get all my subjects from. The victim's end, you say? May I? Of course. Climb up my chute if you like. But you are going to get covered in all sorts of blood and ghastly things. I'm just wondering if we need... The victim's end is where the guy is that we need to get. I think we should maybe leave that to last. Let's go back and talk to the the fairy guy. Give him the tusk and then we'll come back here. Uh, was that this way? Yeah. Just as well we can run now with Bertram, since we figured that out. <laughs> yeah, here he goes. Right, I want to give him the tusk. Oh, yeah! I'll trade 
you a go in me boat for that. But I'm warning ye, it's not safe to go out there. Never fear, Gavin and I paddled the Amazon in a scooped out giant condor egg. I think we can manage a row in your little boat. Let's head off on the boat. No? Oh. Oh, right. Hold on. We were actually at the factory. <laughs> this is where we started. I can see the soap making machines. It's bolted tight. I wonder if there's a. What are these two? V vacuum vegetables. Grabulation. We can't use that on there or anything. I must be careful with this. I don't want to spill any. I must. Okay. There's posters for shampoo everywhere. We must have to get do something with the shampoo. Is it... Someone has ransacked Mr. Dalsworth's office. Oh, wait, that was me. There is nothing of use in here. That was the tea iron, wasn't it? Selling soap is thirsty work. Hmm. I don't think there's anything here, is there? What was out here again? The guards are we. I've got soap. Oh, extra adequate soap. It smells perfectly acceptable. But we can't take any. Barrels of unexceptional shampoo waiting to be bottled. Mm. Bottled. We have a bottle. Okay, so we now have a bottle of... Champagne filled with <laughs> bubbles, bubbly shampoo. What do we need that for? Do you think that's everything here? Doesn't because that we can do anything more, does it? Let's have a look at the. Um, Yes. No, I don't want to talk to you. We could go to there, couldn't we? And have a look at the Victim's End pub. Oh no, our man servant's in the way. Out of my way. Is that this way? Yeah. We never looked at this. Ah, the victim's end. I feel a culmination approaching. Help me! This pub is for villains only. You can't come in unless you is a scoundrel. You cannot come in. I don't think we will ever get in this way, Gavin. Villains only. We should find a more sneaky way to get in. Right, so we have to use the shoot. So let's head back to the um, Dr. Jekyll's place. I see I got two follows while I was offline. Um, Nair78 and Yo Yo Twist. So thank you to them for the follows.
Right, we climb up here, don't we? Follow me, Gavin. I have a feeling we are at last closing in on Jeff. Oh, mind where you put your hands, Gavin. There's all sorts in here. Good day, sir. I ain't seen you around here before. Are you sure you was the wrong one? Oh, yes. They call me, um, uh, Bertram Gristle. I'm as mean as a worm. Ah, then welcome to the victim's end. What'll it be? I'll have a cup of tea. No milk. We've got beer, or gin, or get out of my pub. I'm looking for a rather <laughs> shadowy figure known only as Jeff the Murderer. By a careful process of highly intelligent investigative deduction, I have tracked him across Victorian London. And now have reason to believe he may be hiding out somewhere in this very pub. Jeff the murderer, you say? Yeah, everybody knows Jeff. There he is, playing cards with Marvo and old Soapy Nuts. Mr. Charlesworth, in here? It's a cut. The hypno cut. I don't understand how you've won again. Another game, Mr. Dullsworth? But Marvel, all I've left are the deeds to the soap factory. You don't want to see your little singing canary again, don't you? Just let Joanna go, Marvel. We are in love. Then let's play again. Winner takes all. Yes, Marvel. Whatever you say, Marvel. Perfect. This guy is not using a knife, look, he's using a spoon. <laughs> Can I not talk to anybody? Who are you? A reporter? <laughs> hey? Oh, he hurt his fingers, look. <laughs> We can't go down the hatch now. I'll have a cup of tea. We've got beer. Right, so I guess we're going this way. Stop this diabolical dishonesty at once. Look into my eyes. You cannot mesmerize me. I am the little, 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 little. What's <laughs> that, Marvo? You are in complete control? Yes, Marvo. Whatever you say, Marvo. What's wrong? Cat's got your tongue? <laughs> Guess I'm a cat. You cannot stop me. I can control your feeble mind at whim. What have you got in your pockets? Aha! Extravagant champagne, my favorite. Let's celebrate my impending victory. Come closer and pour me a glass. It's got shampoo in it though. So what's that going to do to him? Here you go, Marvo. Time for some champagne. Aha! Your power's a weak old cat. Meow! My eyes! I cannot see! It burns! It burns! <laughs> More than one way to wash a cut. Oh, it's you! What are you doing here? What happened? Well, I effortlessly defeated Marvo and foiled his evil plot, freeing you, Joanna, and the rest of Victorian London from his pernicious mind grasp. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fiddle. They were right. You are a fine adventurer. Now Joanna and I can be together forever. And as for you, Jeff, now that you are free from Marvo's mind grip, will you stop all these dreadful murderings? What? I was never hypnotized. <laughs> I just love killing things. What can I say? I'm a wrong'un. You never stop me from doing me murderings. Oh, yes! 
Crisp. I shall go down in history as London's most elusive serial killer. We have you cornered, Jeff. You have nowhere to run. This so is jump out the window. end of this whole dreadly business. You've done a good job to get this far, but you'll never catch me. <laughs> I'm slipperier than a greasy eel. And now it's time to make like a duck and dive. Tasha. -ta. Oh, she jumped out the window. Just like we said he would. Oh, Gavin, is this the end of Jeff the Murderer? Is our adventure over? I guess we will never truly know. Wait, sir, what is that coming out of the water? My goodness, will this nightmare never end? Oh, why is his eyes gone red? <laughs> oh, oh, a giant crab! Go blow me! No, my spleen! Oh, oh no, he's got me cleaning off! Oh, oh! <laughs> my, what a crabby way to go! Got eaten by a giant crab! <laughs> you must be like the third or fourth best adventurer in here now. What are you going to do now you're back in the club? I hadn't really thought of it. I bet you're feeling pretty pleased with yourself, Fiddle, aren't you? Well, I did hunt down London's most elusive serial killer and thwart the sinister plot of a hypno-cat. I'd say that was a pretty good adventure. But that still doesn't make you as distinguished as me. I'm always going to be the most respected detective in Victorian London. What about the wager, Sherlock? What are you talking about, Watson? You said you'd wear a lady's dress and dance the trifling gallop around Lambeth if Bertram could catch Jeff before you. I hardly think being caught by a giant crab counts. That wager is non-binding. Now, now, Holmesy. A wager is a wager. Bertram thwarted Jeff the murderer. Admit it, Holmes. Ah, there you are, Bertram. Congratulations on putting an end to Jeff is at last. Is that a woman? But, Bertram, I have some terrible news. Something peculiar has started happening by the turnip factory. I have a feeling another adventure is about to begin. Blimey. Blimey. <laughs> is that it done? <gasps> Episode 2. I don't think there's a third one. Doesn't look like it. No. No, it doesn't look like it. That was good, I enjoyed that. It was a good adventure again. A lot of humour in it, which always makes it better, doesn't it? Can I just come out of there? Quit. Yep, I enjoyed that. Um, right, I have... I'm not sure which one to do next. Um, I've got this one, which looks quite fun. Gibbis, a Cthulhu adventure. It's a bit of a comedy, there's a cat in it. Looks nice. Or I was thinking of playing The Secret of Monkey Island, which I have never played. So I'm not sure which one. 